Hello, um, I'm Rez, this is Lauren, and we're going to show you a quick video and then we're going to get in some nerdy stuff. This music is made with tennis data. IBM tracks all the data at the US Open. We used it to create generative music in real time from all 187 matches. We made an algorithm that translated tennis into code, into music. Court location, score changes, even serve speeds changed a piece of music that was created as the match happened. So an ace might change the instrumentation and a fault might change the tempo. The songs were generated in real time. So were animations that let fans follow the match along with the music. It all played live on a fully responsive site designed for mobile. This is a whole new way to make music. So that was a project basically turning data from the US Open into uh, music. We started out, I don't know how we're going to do it, probably need a pretty nerdy musician. So we were hoping to get, you know, like a James Murphy type. And then our music producer came back with James Murphy. So we were like, sweet, we'll take him. Um, he said he was really excited to start another, you know, experimental music project. Uh, we think he just really wanted to go to the US Open and to wear tight tennis shorts. And he actually got to do both of those things. So it was a win-win situation for everyone and a great Yeah, job. you can uh, turn the music up just a little bit. So this is actually track match. Uh, Match 113, uh, track, we have to call it that for legal reasons, but that's another story. Um, so real music from real the match, music. data coming in, James did some stuff, and out came this. Okay, so um, at the beginning of this project, we worked with Tool of North America, and we told them everything that we wanted to do, and they basically said, well, we'd pretty much have to build GarageBand from scratch, and that would be just the music part. Um, in the end, they ended up having to build GarageBand from scratch. And um, this is kind of what that is. It's basically the Rosetta Stone of the entire project. So the data coming in had to be translated into something that James could understand and make music with. And that's what this is. That's kind of what he played with. It was a back-end thing, but we thought it was pretty cool. And fans could actually play around with it. And it would give them a better understanding of how this data was influencing the music. So if an ace came in, how that would influence the track. So we ended up putting it on the website. So 800 years, that's how long it would take James to make this music. And I'm gonna just run right into what it was actually on the website. So you would enter into a match. Um, you would be dropped in at the live moment of play. And as soon as that first point was triggered, it would basically set, uh, trigger the animations, start recording the score and capturing all the data that went into it. Um, and in a moment, you'll see an ace and all the moments that go through a typical tennis match. We did this for every tennis match. And then um, James uh, took his favorites and made an album of remixes uh, that was out for everyone to see. Pitchfork rated it a 6.9, which was pretty cool. U2's album that came out that same month was less than that, so win, we beat Bono. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, so every point was shareable, and if you're into that, you could do that. So that's the US Open Sessions. And those Thank are you. three quick minutes. Thanks. <laughs>